Back here on the Sunrise Show with a uh, foggy look at downtown Portland. This is a live look right now from our Wells Fargo Skycam. And yesterday morning was really foggy around town. A little fog out there right now, but I promise you this next story has nothing to do with fog. It has everything to do with Portland, specifically how the city of Portland became known as Portland. This is the first segment in a brand new series that we're calling What's in a Name? Devin Haskins, the driving force behind this series. He's live for us this morning there along the East Bank Esplanade. So Devin, the floor is yours. How did Portland become known as Portland? Drew, it's actually kind of a funny story or unique story, cool history story or whatever, how the city behind me got its name. If you just moved here, it involves a copper penny and had that penny flipped a different way, the city that's covered in fog right now could be named something else. Here's what's in a name. It goes by many names. The Rose City, Bridge City, Rip City, and Stumptown. But for more than 170 years, it's been known by one name, Portland. What is now downtown Portland, the heart of Oregon's largest city, was first known as The Clearing, a 640-acre piece of land that pioneers and founders Asa Lovejoy and Francis Pettigrove both owned. But it would be farther south in the city of Oregon City that Portland would officially get its name. So this is the oldest house in Oregon City. The pair attended a dinner party believed to be in this house that was once owned by Hudson's Bay Company businessman Francis Ermatinger. All right, right here is Ermatinger's study. And uh, Holly Swagger is a tour guide for the Ermatinger house in Oregon City. Um, this is where the men would come after after having a dinner party. There. The two men couldn't decide on a name. Pettigrove wanted Portland after the city in his home state of Maine. Lovejoy wanted Boston, named after where he was born. The pair agreed to a coin toss using an 1835 minted copper penny. Pettigrove had heads, Lovejoy had tails. And the story goes, in the best out of three tosses, Pettigrove's coin landed heads up twice. But had the penny flipped a different way, the city we know as Portland could have very well been Boston. <laughs> yeah, had the city been named Boston, we'd be rooting for the Boston Timbers, the Boston uh, Boston Trailblazers. Brenda, you would have graduated uh, from the University of Boston. Oh, that's I mean, right. Just imagine yeah. it does. Yeah, it doesn't have the same ring to it. No, no, it doesn't. Go Pilots, by the way. That's a great story. I didn't know all that stuff, Devin. Thank you so much.